Hello everyone! We have an unboxing today and it is from Quince who I have worked with before and I love their leather so stay tuned to find out what's inside. Hi everyone, my name is Andrea if you're new here, and if you're not, welcome back and thanks for joining me today in the Babe Cave. And today I have partnered up with Quince again because I love their handbags. The quality, the affordability, amazing. But first off, let's start out with bag of the day. It is my Gucci Fuchi <laughs> Soho Disco in that soft pink color. I didn't know I was a camera bag person until I got this bag. So yeah, I am really liking this against the body, the cross body. It's comfortable. The zipper is nice. This is a good bag. <laughs> so, but without further ado, uh, again, I am partnering up with Quince and I found them on Instagram the first time and then we partnered up and so it seems now in my Instagram feed I'm always getting bags of Quince <laughs> and so it only makes sense for me to do another partnership with them because I like the quality of their handbags. This bag right here, the leather shoulder in that pretty beige light khaki light tan color was my first quince bag it's a uh, hundred percent you know pebbled italian leather so i enjoyed this bag so much but now it is time for another one so i already cut it open for you because no one wants to hear that and this bag I saw on my Instagram feed all the time and then that made me go to the website and then I picked out the the hobo bag so I decided since I saw this and loved it the first time I saw it I would get that one <clears throat> so it comes in your plastic bag and it comes with the quince dust bag it's a nice nice quality dust bag with the drawstring here so let's open it up <laughs> I got this beautiful beautiful taupe color let me get the name of it but yeah it has like almost like a brushed finish to the hardware very substantial good quality and also you can do it crossbody if it fits on your body you can do it crossbody there or I think I'm going to do a shoulder carry here's the side the back I love I believe this is called chevron pattern you guys wouldn't believe how soft this leather is. This is more of a smooth leather and the other one was pebbled and this is soft. So they also have a bigger version of this same style of bag. So instead of nine inches across it's 11 so if you are wanting a little bit bigger they do have that option but in less colors. This is again the Italian leather convertible crossbody bag. So that's the difference. The other one is, I believe, just a shoulder bag. But check out their website if you do want a bigger one. They do have that option as well. So the name is Italian leather quilted convertible crossbody. And I'll be sure and link the bag down below along with their website um, so you can shop on Quince because so far I am loving the quality 
Loving their leather. Look at that. Now, the lines don't match up, so if that bothers you, but, you know, this is an affordable bag. <laughs> it's 100% leather, Italian leather. So, you know, the design is amazing, and actually, they line up in the front, so let's look at that. So, it has a magnetic closure, snaps back together, let's look at it. The lines don't quite match up, but pretty darn close, if you ask me. Really pretty neutral color. No feet on the bottom. Let's look inside. Here's what the inside looks like. Oh, this leather is amazing. And it has a middle zip compartment. And I believe this on their website right now is $120 for your information. But let's look inside. It has two slit pockets right here in the front. And then you have that front compartment and then this middle zip. Zipper's good. No problem. And the interior is a cloth material. It's not leather. And then in the back, we show Quince's little tag right there with a zippered pocket right there. And let me give you some measurements. So the bag is nine across approximately by six up and roughly three depth. So that's a really nice going out bag, in my opinion. Um, let me show you the back again. I'm not sure I showed you. I just love that pattern. And it, the quilting is so squishy. You could see me squishing it. And let me give you the shoulder drop. And I'll do a mod shot at the end. Throw that in at the end. It has about 11 and a half shoulder drops. So that's really really nice shoulder drop if you're looking for a shoulder bag it's not too big i'd say it's like a a small to medium size depending on you know how you pack your bags but i can't get over this hardware um i do love the muted brass antique look it goes really good with that taupe color i just invented another way to wear this bag Stay with me here. <laughs> Look at this. No hands. What did I do? <laughs> did I just make another option for you to carry this bag? Yes, I did. So, let me show you how I did it. <laughs> Again, this is a strong magnet. I used, yes, those are hair ties. And I just wrapped the extra chain with the hair tie on both sides see I did it over here there was a little more extra over here but I just did the hair ties there and look at that it snaps back and I can make it a little top handle Quince do you need to hire me but yeah so I just made it three ways so I could have a little top handle and then look or it could go back here. <laughs> so yeah, how cute is that? For reference, uh, let's just see, you know, it definitely fits the cell phone. I'd probably put that in the back. But let me see if it fits in the zippered pocket. Uh -huh. It does not fit in the zippered pocket. And it has a little leather pull on the middle zip too. And here are the grommets of it going through for the shoulder or crossbody. There's that magnet. The magnet is strong. Magnet. Beautiful. And they have other colors. They have a brown. Then they have, a, I believe, a light, you know, tan color. And they definitely have black. But they have black with either gold hardware 
or you could pick silver. So I'm kind of curious about the black with the silver hardware. But this is a great neutral for sure. For color comparison, I pulled out my Coach Emery bag in the color Elm. So here's that color. And then here's the dark taupe. I just wanted to show a comparison of the two just so you'll get an idea if it's a little darker than the elm color. Again, this is in the color dark taupe and they also have a Merlot color, which is like a wine, which would be really pretty with my Dooney and Burke Kisslock in wine. <laughs> but I chose a neutral with this gorgeous brass colored hardware. Again, you have to try this out. I would not steer you wrong on this and how soft and buttery this really is. <laughs> very nice, very nice. So let's do some mod shots. Here it is on my shoulder. Perfect little drop right here. It might not work crossbody, I'm not sure, because I'm a bustier gal, but it sits a little bit high for me, but it's not terrible. Here's what it looks like on right here. So it's, it's a good crossbody too. I like the versatility that you could have it crossbody or a shoulder strap. So that is my second quince bag and I'll link the hobo bag that I got down below so you can watch it too. And I will link everything down below for both bags and I hope you take a look at quince because they have some really nice quality leather bags. So if you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and join AKB Bags. Why don't you? <laughs> we have fun here with lifestyle, handbags especially, some jewelry, and all kinds of goodies and reviews. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and comment. And tell me what you think. Do you like this? And have you seen it on Instagram as well? Because I know I have. <laughs> so, uh, again, uh, hit the bell for future notifications so you won't miss my videos that I pop up. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.